Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more Football Manager 20 here today on the channel. We're back with our Manchester City career series. This is episode 3. In today's episode, we have two matches. The first of which is against Chelsea. Then we face Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool. We have the January transfer window as well. And I've got some of your feedback and suggestions. I've got a signing, which I'm sure the majority of you will like. So guys, if you're enjoying this career series and want to see more Football Manager on the channel, the best thing you guys can do is to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here. Uh, with notifications on, let me know in the comments, feedback and suggestions for the series and players you would like me to sign. And future Football Manager episodes and series you'd like me to do. I can definitely see myself doing a United series along with Chelsea. We've started off the scoring here incredibly early on. It's Bernardo Silva to score his second goal of the Premier League. 10 seconds or 20 or so seconds in. We're 1-0 up against Chelsea in the rain at the Etihad Stadium. Wowee. We currently sit in second of the Premier League, drawing on points with Liverpool. Chelsea third, Wolves fourth. Spurs are in 14th, which is crazy halfway through the season. And um, Manchester United in 7th. Pep Guardiola has taken my former Spurs job. But so far, we're maintaining pace with the top. And we're still pushing upon our main objective of winning the, uh, the Premier League along with the UEFA Champions League. We're 1-0 up here against Chelsea. We've had to rotate the squad slightly. We've brought in Otamendi over Koulibaly. And apart from that, we're still uh, quite strong. We've got a couple of niggling injuries and stuff here and there, but nothing too crazy. Sterling's broken away here now. Aguero is our top goal scorer, by the way, with 13. And Sane with the most assists on 8. Um... Yeah, Carl Walker was suspended. So Joel Cancelo's come in. Mendy's got a an injury and Koulibaly as well. So hopefully it's not too long. Kante's out for them. Edison trying to break away for Frank Lampard's Chelsea. Sterling now on the right. Finds Aguero who scores his 14th goal of the Premier League season. 2-0 up. Here today, this could very much decide the Premier League. If we can beat Chelsea here and beat Liverpool later on, only time will tell. But I want to try and go on a cup run if I can. But we'll just sort of have to see how I go. I'd love to win an FA Cup or EFL for Man City. The ball's gone over the top there. So who have they got? Tamori, Emerson, fair few good players. Still Willian, Abrahams, Reese James. Tamori trying to bring it out for the back. A nice ball over the top on the counter-attack. Willian converts, scoring his first goal of the season. Oh, what a ball over the top there from Tomori, the Canadian international. Beating the sort of unmatched fit, unready Otamendi. Because Koulibaly has been the major defensive partnership. Aguero now on the break. And he scores a hat-trick. It's Sergio Aguero to score his 15th Premier League goal. 31, 32 years of age. He has still got it. And he's still banging in the goals left, right and centre. What a spectacular finish from the Argentine. I go on this so much in Football Manager. As long as they're picking up that seven match rating consistently over seasons to season, it doesn't matter how old they are. They can be 31 to 37 performing at the top level. Otamendi, Casemiro, Sterling. I'm still really enjoying this 4-2-3-1. Jurgen Klopp, I hate saying it because I'm playing as Man City, but German-inspired gag impress. High octane, high velocity, counter-attacks and pressing. Mount, Rudiger there, trying to pe press forward. But Pep, it's what, what, what I find is crazy is that Spurs are in, what, 13th, 14th, 15th? Playing a possession-based system with Pep. Has Tiki Taka gone out the window? Speaking of what's gone out the window, this match, Sergio Aguero scored four goals against Chelsea at the Etihad Stadium. And it's time to make some substitutions. Zaha, I've been... It's just so weird, football manager. Like, sometimes players don't live up to the occasion. Zaha on FIFA is, like, amazing. But in this Premier League season, he's been a shadow of his former self. He was sort of stunted when he was brought into to a possession-based system with Pep. 
but he really hasn't risen to the occasion. Mares has been massive for us. Same with Gundogan, who've had a similar amount of player points. Emerson on the counter-attack there scores his first goal of the season. That's disappointing, but nothing we shouldn't be able to shake. Pedro now comes on for Pulisic. Ludwig Augustusson. Can't whip it in. Casemiro now. Coming back from his little injury stint. Ludwig. It's Ludwig Augustusson. Ah, to get the ball in. Amazing crossing. I can't recommend him enough. You need a Premier League proven. Zaha now. Prove me wrong, please. Ah. You're proving me right more than anything. Anyway, go out and buy Ludwig Augustusson <laughs> for Football Manager 20. You won't be disappointed. Trust me. João Cancelo. Casemiro, Zaha, man, you are absolutely hurting me here. You're hurting me, man. <laughs> Pings at five of the right. And that's it. 4-2 was the result in the end. So, we are still in December. This is usually the time where <laughs> teams and players and managers get sold and sacked and whatnot. But we do have the January transfer window uh, right around the corner. And Rogers has been sacked by Leicester. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's up there as well. We've qualified for our UEFA Champions League group. However, uh, Vardy has been... No way. Vardy's the new Leicester City manager. Oh my god, would you believe it? Okay, guys, welcome to the second match of today's episode. We face Liverpool, and you won't believe it. It's probably the title decider. If we can beat Liverpool here today, we're going to put ourselves in a tremendous position. Pup three, more than half of my defensive back line is out, either with injuries or red cards. So we're going to have to rotate the squad massively here today against Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool. And particularly as well, if we want to trade with them, I think we should be cautious in this first half. We need a win desperately. It looks like Robertson's out for them, which is interesting. KDB starts off the scoring just before the eighth there. Okay, being cautious is not too bad because the thing is, right, if we were to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them, cannoning back and forth, my defense is a lot weaker than theirs. Angelino's had to come in for Ludwig Augustusson, who's out. Otamedi's come in as well, who is still sort of finding his footing, uh, replacing Koulibaly. And Stones has come into Laporte, but he's done all right so far. Angelino over the top. Uh, he wasn't loaned out in this alternative timeline to Rosenball Leipzig. I think that's where Angelino is in real life now. Ottoman has just given away a penalty. It's gone to VAR and they've given it. Fabino. Oh, what a top-notch save there by Edison. So normally I would... I, I think like 90% of my matches I've played, I've probably kept it on cautious, uh, attacking. We don't often play all cautious. But sendings we've picked up a goal here. We, what we want to try and do is be cautious in the first half and then I'll try and hit them on the break a little bit later. We'll go defensive as well, because I need this win. Robertson's picked up an injury. What a tremendous squad they have. They even got, like, Grimaldo on the bench. Salah. I'm... We just don't have the defensive personnel. That is not another penalty. You're kidding me, man. Salah... Oh, it's a free kick, but Salah's whipped it in woefully. Robertson now with an injury. Angelino. Sana, I just don't trust my defensive backline. Angelino, Stones is still like ball playing. I don't even need a ball playing defender anymore. We he probably should be looked to be sold. Otto Mendy's not too bad though. He's got that Sergio Ramos grit, that Spanish grit in him <laughs> that I like. That Garrilla grit. Virgil. Salah. One-one. Mm. I think we might have to go attacking here now. Because we held off defensively and cautiously. I think in this second half now, we should go, 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 Gadget. Hit him on the break as hard as we can. We'll go attacking. Okay, the ball comes out. Stones clears it. Arnold centralizes it to Wijnaldum. A good tackle there by Bernardo Silva. Angelino, Angelino just whips it. Just due to... 
His match fitness there was poor. Raheem gets tackled. We should be able to expose Robertson though. I don't think they've probably got full back. Uh, they've still got Grimaldo though, don't they? Robertson's come off now and Grimaldo, the former Barcelona Spanish international. From what I can remember, he played for Benfica, I think, as well at one point. KDB. Casemiro now. Keita. To decide first place. Otamendi tracks back. Look at how many Liverpool players are trying to hunt him down there. Sterling on the break. Gets tackled in the box. Oh, the ref might give it here. And they have. There's a penalty up the other end. Can we convert ours here now? Aguero steps up and it's saved by Allison. Allison Becker. The scenes in the Liverpool Man City match. De Bruyne whips it into the box. Fabino clears. Mo Salah now. Can't quite get to it. All right, starting to make some substitutions here now. So, let's bring on Mares for Sterling. He's been playing really well this season. We'll bring on Jesus for Aguero. Um, we'll bring on Rodri in the midfield with that combination. Still 1-1. One, one. Still a lot to play for here. Away at Anfield. Grimaldo. Got the crowd roaring there. But overall, a 1-1 one, one draw so far. Seeing as we had so many defenders out. We've basically lost the core of our back line. It's not too bad. Firmino. Oh, on the break is saved. Arnold with the follow-up. What a clearance there by our only consistent defender there. Jal Cancelo. Keita's now come off. Salah looking to whip it in. Still trying to remain cautious. Jal Cancelo is now injured. Liverpool have a free kick just outside the edge of the area. Wilson's hit the post. Jal Cancelo clears. He is still performing tremendously well with an injury. I really can't afford to lose this match, to be honest. I'd rather take the draw than the loss. Henderson. Oh. Whew. Sane. Now oh, gets tackled in the end of it. Man, oh man. My team is on a, a shoestring. That's it. The full-time whistle is blown. We've gone to Anfield and we've picked up a 1-1 draw. Manchester City were lucky. I cannot... Um, disagree with that. So one point separates Liverpool and Manchester City. Wow, we. So Chelsea are in third. Wolves are in fourth. Wolves might get pre uh, Champions League football, let alone Europa League. Arsenal in fifth. United in sixth. Aguero is our top goal scorer in twenty-two. Spurs are in eleventh now. It's crazy to see what happens with them. Leicester, Southampton, and Cardiff. In the relegation scrap. And as you would have saw, Brendan Rodgers for sitting Leicester in 18th has been sacked. And Vardy is now the manager. So having Ludwig Augustusson, Laporte, and even Regani out with an injury, we've managed to pick up a 1-1 draw against Liverpool away. A lot to build on, a lot to work with. Hopefully next time around, we can beat them in our league campaign. Still going up on our main victory conditions of winning the Premier League, the Champions League, and going on a cup run. Thank you very much for watching episode three of the Football Manager. I just dropped my pen there <laughs> that I was noting with. Um, yeah, my Football Manager career series. Support it, and I'll do more Football Manager on the channel. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you're not enjoying the series, feel free to leave a dislike. Check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. Highly recommend Twitter. Every single time I post a video, a tweet goes out. It's much more reliable than the YouTube sub box these days. To get all the notifications for the channel, you have to click subscribe 
subscribe, of course, and the bell to join the notification squad. I do enjoy reading those comments. If you guys want to get yourself some cheap and reliable games, maybe some PSN and Xbox codes to buy packs for Ultimate Team, or maybe just some games, I really do recommend checking out my affiliation link, G2A. There's some really good prices, so even just going looking around, to be honest. Anyway, uh, the Patreon Stinger there as well. Come and join the community on Steam. My name has been CMC. Stay tuned for more videos on the channel. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. My name has been Simpsy. Goodbye. Mares whips it into the box. Royce! That is just ridiculous. With the layup, Marco Royce.